What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, uh, I'm in Toronto at Pilot Coffee. It's like a coffee shop in Toronto. And uh, I'm visiting a good friend of mine. Uh, you may or may not know him from, from uh, a platform called YouTube. Uh, his name is Peter McKinnon. He's actually sitting right here, you can't see him, but. Uh... What's up, Pete? Hey man, how, how you doing? Going? Good to see you. Good man. As you know, on my channel, we do a lot of puzzles and stuff like that, right? A lot of puzzles. And you like coffee, so today, um, I've actually found a coffee mug puzzle for you to solve. If you do solve it, uh, you, I'll, I'll give it to you, you get to keep it. But if you don't, I'm taking it home. I'll solve it. Puzzles are pretty easy for the most part to solve. This I one actually like, might I've be. I've never really had like any difficulty with them, so yeah, I'm well, confident. All right, I'm we'll confident. see. Where is it? Well, it's right here. Okay. <laughs> Look at this, look how cute this is. This is actually handcrafted so, uh, by a Japanese puzzle maker. This is actually a puzzle box, so there's like a hidden compartment somewhere inside of this okay. so you can store your uh, paraphernalia or whatever, you, whatever you're into. Okay, so when you start a puzzle, do you ever know what it is you're actually solving? Or do you just have to start trying to figure out what, like is it, is it open, is it? Yeah, is it mo like most of the time, if I get, if I get it... like a puzzle box, I know that it opens somehow, but other than that, there's no, there's no telling. So before we do this though, I think we should probably, we should probably get some coffee, what do you think? Oh, 100%. All right. Okay. There you go. Ooh, ooh, look at this coffee. Coffee cheers. Cheers, man. Coffee cheers. You're so much bigger than mine. <laughs> oh, that's delicious. Mm. Oh, so. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab the camera. Yeah, are there rules to this? No rules? Just have no at rules, it. No rules, just have at it. You'll probably get it in no time because you're, you're a clever guy. Uh, on the off chance you don't, we'll make fun of you, but I mean, you should probably get it. All right, okay, here we go. So, first look, it seems to be fastened to the uh, this here saucer. We've got a wooden spoon. Not sure if that has anything to do with it. We've got some some sugar cubes here. I would presume that's what those are. Don't know if they uh, are part of the, the solving process, but taking a little once over. Uh, am I doing a good job explaining? You're this? doing a great, great job okay, cool. narrating. Taking a little once over, we've got a little uh, little rosewood on top, which is supposed to act like you know your your fresh brewed coffee. See a little bit of a seam here. It's a little bit of give. First off, let's see if it's gravity. That would be logical, maybe to the side. I've seen some of Chris's videos, so I kind of know a little bit of what you know makes sense and what doesn't make sense. And I think one thing I've I've often heard him say is, "What's the name of the puzzle?" That sometimes helps. So, what is the name of this puzzle? Uh, I believe it's just like the coffee cup. The coffee cup. All right, that tells me nothing. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can like hear stuff inside it, like. This is frustrating. It's like, all right, I know what this needs. No! Let's get this no! <laughs> is that against the rules? <laughs> it is. No external tool. Okay, okay. Gravity, it's not magnets. Does this press? Does, this, does the handle spin? Handle doesn't spin, seems to be glued on there well. Is this magnetic anywhere? Dude, how do you do this with the puzzles that you get? Like, <laughs> okay, is there anything, are these magnetic? Ooh, are those? Oh, okay. Magnetic sugar cube, oh, I wanted something. Just one. So you put sugar in your coffee. Oh, I feel, I feel tension. Okay, I feel, you, if you can't probably hear with that mic, but if you, list, if you lift this up, something falls. Something falls, because that needs to be there in order for this to maybe move to a different spot. Is there another, oh, two magnets. Hey! <laughs> That's my first puzzle solve. Three minutes, How did I do? Clock. Right That's on, not, not bad. bad. That's like a level six or seven. Is it? Yeah. Wow, that's actually incredible. Yo, there you go. okay. You can hide your coffee beans in there, or whatever you can want. I, to do. Can I just say the feeling when you solve a puzzle is fantastic. It is. I it, know it, why you do it now. It's a rush. It's incredible. There All you right. go, Pete. Congratulations Thank on you your very new, much. acquiring your new puzzle. I'm going to put it on my shelf, which you guys will see very shortly. 
dude, that was dope. Pretty sweet, right? I thought maybe the spoon would have something to do with it. But yeah, it's just to throw you off. I was totally planning on like just tossing these. I did not think these had any, because they're not weighted. They don't feel like there's anything yeah. in them at all. It's kind of cool, because you think about it, you're like, where would the uh, salt, where would you put your <laughs> sugar? You'd put it in the coffee, right? Yeah. Oh, you started with them on the side too, didn't you? You sneaky, you did that. You set this up, okay. <laughs> like if you were just like messing around, you're just messing around being like, all right, so we got sugar. Oh, done. Yep. I should have thought of that before. <laughs> <laughs> True, buddy. So that was fun. Uh, puzzle solving, coffee, now back at Pete's. He's gonna show me a little bit of his puzzle collection, Pete. It's nowhere near, it's nowhere near your puzzle collection. Uh, but there is, there is one that you like convinced me to get the first time you and I went to San Diego. Yeah. Um, it's this little one in here, this little cast iron one. Mm. And I couldn't do it, so I begged you to tell me, and then you told me how to do it. And now I act like when everyone comes over, I'm literally like, you know, try, try to figure this puzzle out. And I act as if I have figured it out, like I'm a big deal. <laughs> and no one ever can. But the method for this, just, I just think it's like it's so simple, but it's so like I would probably never have thought. Yeah. Did you have you solved this on your channel yet? Well, I didn't solve it on my channel. Dan Dave showed this to me actually. Yeah. In San Diego, and it, this works with centrifugal force. Centrifugal force. Uh, That's a good word. Uh, but a lot of puzzles actually work with centrifugal force, and I've opened a few of them on the channel you guys have seen. Uh, this one was the first one. This is actually one of the first puzzles that got me It's not it. even like very expensive, it's like 40 bucks. Yeah, I'll leave the link below if you guys are interested. You can check that out at Art of Play. But uh, the way this works, and it's kind of cool because you have north, you know, north, south, east, west. These are like, you know, in, that, in that arrangement. Yeah, and it kind of tells you something about, okay, well this is circular, it has to be this way. And you hear the pins on the inside, and I'll let Pete open it. Yeah, so I just do it, like if I'm doing an aerial, I would just, uh, I'm gonna throw it up in the air, ready? So like one, two, Ugh. Sometimes I can get it. Sometimes the other side. Sometimes it's this way. Or the other. Yeah. Hey! Boom, and it's so easy, and it's like, oh, come on! Like, yeah. I would never have thought about that. But the way it works, for those of you who don't know, there's, there's these little pins in each of these pieces, and if you move it this way, you don't even see that. You don't even see it happen. But this pin moves, and another pin takes its place, and so it's always locked until the force of the movement opens it up. But anyway, it's a pretty cool puzzle. I'll yeah, let you put that it's back. Like my favorite. It's more pain in the ass put together. Than <laughs> yeah. As with most puzzles, you gotta, you gotta spin it back to get the, to get the pieces to disappear, and then you can just. Oh, Check this one out. So this is an egg puzzle, also a karakuri, I believe. Yeah. And uh, what's really cool about this is uh, because an egg, that's another clue. You got a little little smash button, kind of like the like button. Just saying. You can you smash it, and it opens up, and there's a little chicken on the inside, a little chickadee, just a little chickadee. Chip chip chip. You know what's funny is that everybody that like tries this one has the idea that maybe you smash it, but no one wants to because right. they don't want to break it. Yeah, and which is funny expensive. how that works. So yeah, that's yeah. Like, kind of like the bad radio puzzle, where it's like yeah. a thousand dollar puzzle. The last thing you want to do is smack it. But this one's this one's like made by the same guy. Yep. That does the egg. Yep. You can kind of tell, like you can kind of tell the craftsmanship like looks exactly the same. Yeah, so it's pretty intense. I'm actually gonna put it right here. Ta -da! It's a new home right beside my amiibo. <laughs> All right, we got some more stuff to do. Um, guys, thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe if you're new here. Go subscribe to Pete, check out his channel as well. Thank you very and, much. And uh, <laughs> we will see you guys uh, on next video. Peace. Bye.